so okay guys so in this class like actually we'll be learning about what is like uh, like react life cycle about the component rights uh, life cycle i can tell and coming to the life cycle first uh, just a minute i'll i would like to open my visual studio code and i'll just take your file yes so first coming to the first question of that is on 28 eight 24 okay so what is the question number thirty four where is thirty four what is react life That is for that is our question, right? I think so. You are able to see my screen. So, are you guys able to? You guys are able to see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, first question of you guys will be, what is React life cycle? And coming to the React life cycle, there are importantly three points. Okay. So under that, that is nothing but first one will be. mounting second one will be on second one will be update updating and third one will be on un mounting okay so these are the basic things uh, like uh, the basic main three steps that which we follow inside the react life cycle so first one coming under the mounting so i can just take this as note It is thirty four, thirty fifth one. Mounting. It is the process of creating a component. Okay, it is where it is a process of creating a. component i can tell okay but coming to the updating sorry mm, 36 updating it is the process of making changes in the components
and and updating it and thirty seventh one unmounting it is the process of removing the component okay so it is i can just tell it is a process of uh, removing the component so that is what over here also you can you guys also can refer this that is i'll go over here i'll refer this image and also you can just uh, go through over here see so mounting for here uh, they have given a uh, mounting is nothing but it is a state of rendering the jsx and uh, we'll be just updating our uh, thing like we'll it is a process of actually creating so when we render that only then that will be created right right so you can also just take this one as your example so but actually this one will make you understand and this one is the standard uh, definition and the definition which have given is for your understanding okay this is for updating and this is for unmounting okay so any doubts like how this is working what is the meaning of uh, mounting unmounting and so on and again you need to just uh, have a note that is this one will be usually used in the class based component but should know the workings okay so and this is also one of the important interview question okay so i'll write important question important question so this is one of the important question and so like over here in the images uh, uh, like in this image like as i told i'll just close this see over here first what is the process that they are doing is so like uh, usually we use something called as props and states right so all these things will be first rendered over here and then it will be we'll use some method called as component did mount so this method will be used uh, in the uh, what i can tell in the class uh, like that is class based components and then we will be just updating uh, we will be creating this is a form of creating using this method we will be creating so i'll also write this method over here that is creating a component using component 
did mount method okay and the updation will be done using these things okay that is all these things so you can just uh, i'll just share you this image you can also just go through this so updation will be uh, done for updating any props now you need to know all these things so that is get the drive state from uh, props method and uh, stay set state method and all these things okay you need to know all these things and this is the main thing over here that is nothing but component did update and while up, uh, unmounting is nothing but you can directly unmount this one using the component will unmount okay so this one this is how it usually works so i'll just uh, send you the proper uh, this one uh, like what whatever the notes it is after that okay so any doubts uh, based on like what is mounting unmounting and updating and how does it work so can i just uh, move to the next topic guys i need the response Hmm. Okay. So I'll be I moving to the next topic that is nothing but and a uh, handling event. Okay. So what is event handling? Hmm. What is event handling? You have already learned uh, something called as event handling in uh, JS and HTML. That is events, hmm? right? You have already gone through that. So what is that? Hmm? Response to the user. Okay. React. Hmm. So this is our uh, uh, React official website. Okay, you can just go through what all that what is event uh, handling also over here. Okay, because if there is any different uh, what I can tell or uh, any uh, updates and all, you will be able to see over here. Okay, at like uh, presently, what all the things that we will be using now uh, on click will be there and. Uh, Uh, on submit is also there and on mouse over is there so i'll just show you one of the example over here so at that time uh, later i'll go over then and i'll just uh, explain you guys so over here in the yesterday's what I, uh, in yesterday's class that what have been told we will be usually uh, we have done something called as increment and decrement right so here also we have used some event called as on click okay so let me run this first so what is my project name over here okay i have created uh over here and then i'll run npm start and i would also like to show that is or else i can just type
Okay, let me manually type. Okay, I got it. See. See all these things that are there over here. Now this is used and uh, like they are using only on click. Okay, so I'll just remove this. This is not a good example. It is not generating a proper example. So what I'll do? I'll just change this to on. So over here you can just see uh, all the events like that is uh, on mouse over and uh, on mouse enter and mo on mouse leave and. Uh, so on mouse over uh, like move over here and all these things are nothing but all these things are events okay okay all these things are events so basically we'll be using on mouse over on mouse enter and on mouse leave so all these things okay so these things we will be usually using so these are the basic uh, what i can tell basic events that you usually uh, use so this will be your good example let me just uh, open my output first so over here so whenever you click over here so that one function will be called and that will be uh, what that will be just getting called right so to call those things you will be using something called as event so this is nothing but this is called as event so event is nothing but when uh, some action that you perform and what are what is the type of that action that should be uh, used so i can just uh, tell that 38th question what is event okay and what what are the types or else i can just write write dy dy types or So this is your question okay you can just uh, also go through this So basically you came to know I think so what is event handling and how you write see again over here right whenever you write the first uh, event should be and there are some rules over here I'll also tell you the rules rules are that is I'll just tell you the rules what are the rules that you need to follow event name should start with lower case and the second word of the event should be in
upper case also, or also you can just take it as camel case and the third point that is in react you pass that is pass the function name in the curly braces so inside the curly braces you pass that okay inside the curly braces you pass that so any other doubts what is like events so these are all small topics you don't need to worry about this so because you have already learned in the what in js and html hmm? any doubts in this events hmm? see and uh, this is nothing but event uh, handling and what uh, uh, passing the arguments in that so this is nothing but passing the argument in the sense suppose you imagine that I will not write this over here I will just directly write over here only so how to write it directly hmm? anyone have any idea how to write this directly over inside the uh, what I can tell inside uh, this how to write instead of writing one function and then calling that function name how to write this both the things in single line inside this function anyone hmm? any one of you hmm? actually it is showing some suggestions see I don't want to write see I don't want to write I don't want to write the function and then I will be able to call over here right I don't need to do that I'll be just writing it directly over here only inside this only so how to do that so how to do this in which way you will be doing So you need to use something called as uh, callback function. Hmm? Right? See over here that you are used. You have used this one. This is nothing but uh, asynchronous function. or what is this function what is this function hmm? arrow. this is arrow function okay it is an arrow function then this will be our assignment you need to go through this that is thirty's ninth question what explain the score which is below and and what are the types of functions used Okay. 
Hmm? So this will be one of your assignment question. Assignment question. Hmm. Next. So why we have written like this? Like this and why we have written like this something this hmm? and what is this this one you just remove this okay i'll take instead of that i'll take placeholder name one I don't want okay let this also be so what is this code So there is some error it is showing. Why this is showing this error? What is the error it is showing? Hmm? What is the error it is showing? There is something called as set name. So we didn't uh, like declare that is set name. So set name actually comes using the use state. Okay. So I need to create one of my use state called as set name. Set I'll take name and I'll just create here set yes set name. Sorry, this will be name. Sorry, this will be name and this is the MC string. paste this mm. okay and what is the another error it is showing like we need to take this one it is uh, we need to create the handle that is handle click method so I'll also create that Let me check the output. See, I'm able to print my name. Why it is printing double or double two times? of that I need to print it only once what is the code wrong over here hmm? what is the code what is the mistake I have done hmm? Okay, I'll just give only one. You're telling this is a mistake, na? Name plus name. Yes, sir. So previous name is equals to name.
let me check What if I just remove this and if I just type it I'll be able to get it okay so how this is getting performed guys anyone can just uh, let me know how this is getting work hmm? what method we are using usually whenever we click on this button only we'll get the output right but see whenever i type only i'm getting the output what is the main thing that we are using what is the main thing that we are using over here i'll give you some two minutes you can just go through that see there is nothing but why we are getting this output whenever we type over here we are getting it automatically because I have used something some one event handler called as on change so whenever i change a single uh, what i can tell single value of that so for that what i have done i'm instead of taking the separate function okay na so idnane i'll comment it usually while writing what you will do you will take one of the input tag and you will just give placeholder that is name and name is equals to name you have given so this is not uh, important you can I'll just remove this and I'll take something called as on click ok na illi on click anta yak kodak agadilla because it is not a button or something okay illi submit anta kotta vaga nan illi thagombodu but illi nan en martidini what i am doing over here i am just giving on change i am using on change event over here so whenever i just change that i need to get displayed so here i instead of taking one of the function I have just taken one of the argument and then have done okay so i'll just take a function over here on change see on change so i'll just create this function over here so you have taken on change function and i have used this one so what is the meaning of this so why i have taken this see since i have used one of my state the first state will be i will just show you the state name console sorry console dot log and I'll write name okay and I'll show you my output in console just focus on my console window okay first name it is in empty braces alva no there is no string uh, no data over there so whenever i use this statement that is illi set name anta thagondu e dot target dot value anta thagondidini so e dot target dot value anta elli enge how to access that so this is nothing but on change anta ide alva on change anade elli pass madidini where I have passed i have been passed over here okay so on change ali have taken argument called as e so i have taken one argument so you can just take it anything over here okay 
you can just take it as da data also and i'll just take here data so whatever the uh, thing over here you have taken that that is argument you have taken over here the same thing you need to take it over here so since it will be just uh, have taken e and then i am targeting so i am just targeting the particular tag and i am just only accessing the value of that so if you want to access something that you are writing over here you will be just taking the value using the value you will be just taking so for example if i write value is equals to puneet in the form of string i'll give see my previous value by default only whenever i refresh my default value is puneet over here so for that only we if you want to whatever the data we write over here if you want to access we will be accessing using the value so i have used dot value so this is nothing but this line line is used to access the value from the input tag okay so this line is used to access the value from the input tag okay so then i have used this on change oh i, I have passed over here this will be changing it the method the function name can be anything like for example a b c anything okay then again don't get confused why i have written on change okay so this is done so let us check whether it is getting changed and let me refresh this see now it is not there i'll just write over here so on change event what is the use of on change event anyone can tell hmm what is the use of on change event guys what is the use of on change event hmm it detects the changes in the input hmm it makes the changes over there only okay so it will be used in only input tag okay so whatever the changes that are to be made that will be made immediately over here okay so that is how it is working this will be useful while you are writing some of the data or some of the text okay so imagine that you are you want to write one paragraph that you are typing it in the input box and you want to just display that also over here at that time you will be uh, this will be helpful for example uh, in your whatsapp when you are texting it right at that time uh, it should also display over here you imagine in uh, some of the comments and so on and all like it will be showing before clicking that so that time it will be very useful hmm any other doubts how it is working and see over here what is the difference between this and this what is the difference between this one and this here we have declared a function separate function and then we have called that is we have declared separate function and then we have called but here in the same line we are doing by using the arguments and the arrow function okay so which will be easy that one you can follow so if you are familiar with this one you can fo follow this one only and if you are familiar with this you can follow this 
for uh, getting a single line of data and all you can follow this method only this method will be very easy for you so any confusion in this hmm? any confusion the contract is still printing the name as you do enter the yeah for that only we are using this on change right no but you said when when only the button is clicked it should appear in the name ah then you need to remove this then you need to remove this you need to remove the on change and then you will be able to use so for an example just a minute yeah i'll you make use of this and i'll take it I'll pass it over here. Okay, just get me a minute. Hmm. change yeah sorry this will be commented and over here this will be changed i need to take this argument is equals to So I think so you guys Hello Hello Yeah okay See over here, what I need to do is uh, since I didn't uh, mention this value, it was not getting printed. So I think now it will get print. Mm. Where is that? Where is that? Where is the input tag? to access that for that
Just give me a minute. So here, just I'm giving the default name without accessing from the input tag. So what if I want to access from the input tag? I just take on change only. I need to take on change guys if I want to uh, just print it. So without that, if I just click whatever the data it is there in the this format, that will only be uh, taken. So if I want to just take that data, at least I need to just uh, give over here and then I need to take. But I'll not be able to give over here and then I'll take. I can take. That is name. I cannot give like this. value I can't give like this so uh, let me just find out this one okay just get me a minute and I'll be printing that so on changes there and I need one of the button so when I right click on this getting error p is not defined where is that p this will be usually that is so whenever I click on this this function should get called yes I can also do that Okay, let me solve this in uh, next class guys. I don't know why it is not working. 
or else you you guys can also try this so it is just getting directly printed and actually i need to take this over here Okay, just a minute. Console dot log. okay i think so now i will get let me try it in console only first i am getting some dom error it is undefined okay this one since i have given over here it is showing name hmm where is that where is that okay as actually what they have given over here the previously that one also i can do that is p of value of p is equals to name If I just give that set name,
okay let me just uh, tell you in the next class guys i'll just solve that in the next class you guys can also try that